Now this evening, we are introducing to you East London board foodie, Ozandi Manyako. Not only is she a chartered accountant, but she's also founded her very own business, Hush in My Kitchen, where she lives by her motto, My Kitchen, My Rules. She's here this afternoon to tell us all about her culinary journey and how the vision has come to life in her business. Welcome to The Loft, Zandi. Thank you, Phyllis, and thank you for the lovely intro. Yeah, oh, girl, I got you. <laughs> because you truly are a woman, not only beauty, not only brains, but you're also just such a phenomenon in the kitchen. Now, before we get into all of the foodie stuff, I want to find out from you, girl, you are a qualified chartered accountant, but you thought it's not enough. I need to add something else under my belt. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, Felisa, I'm, I'm a foodie, first of all. Um, I come from a family of amazing cooks, so I think um, I picked up on that. So, from that, um, my family has always known my passion for cooking, and um, I enjoy cooking. Yeah. It, it, Literally, I could live in the kitchen if I could. <laughs> so um, I absolutely love cooking. And my family has been, you know, pushing me and encouraging me to start a cooking page, of which, you know, you know how we are, always had excuses. But eventually, um, I started hushing my kitchen in, in May 2020. Mm. And that's where this business all started. Yeah, girl, and you've done so incredibly in the, just a very short amount of time, in just under two years, in fact. I mean... Being able to pivot your brain from something so technical, so formula-driven, which is being a chartered accountant, to something completely free-spirited. I mean, I think being a baker is a little bit more stringent and to the line than being a cook, and you are exactly that. So, what does it take to be able to, number one, hold down multiple streams of income? Because you know this 2022, that's all we're talking about, girl. Yeah. Being able to make the coin and securing the bag. But not only that, but still being able to hold down your position in such a demanding job. So, Belisa, um yes, I work nine to five. But, um, you know, it's, it's very difficult, I might say, very challenging to maintain a cooking page, you know, to, 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 to collaborate with brands, produce some content, very, very time consuming. So I think for me, what, what, what really helps me out is time management, you know, work your nine to five, right? And then you have to sacrifice your weekends though. Sacrifice your weekends, spend a bit of time creating content. Um, so th that there's a bit of planning involved and naturally I'm a planner, so over weekends, you plan your content and you have enough content for the week, you know. Um, I think that's the yeah. trick to it, really. Planning is key. You can't take anything for granted. And time management, honey, if I've learned one thing about adulting, <laughs> it's all about that time management. But the inspiration, not only to take something that is your passion, like cooking, but turn it into a business and make a generated income of its own. How have you been able to pivot into that space? And not only that, what inspired you to make it a business? My love for cooking, you know, I'm very passionate about cooking. Yeah. And if you, yes, I'm a qualified chartered accountant, but my passion is cooking. So if you can make money from your passion, then why not? Mm. You know, um, you know, I, I've always had this dream of generating um, a second income from my passion, mm -hmm. and it's coming true. I, I'm, I'm absolutely enjoying this journey. I'm enjoying the money that's <laughs> yes. generated by this. We're business. enjoying the money, child. <laughs> You know, um, so yeah. Yeah, beautifully said. I mean, if your food is as beautiful as the woman sitting in front of me, I Thank cannot you. wait. <laughs> and something that's your favorite, something that you whip up, something that reminds me of my childhood, your favorite dish and your very first dish that you've ever tried was umpokoko. Now, for some South Africans <laughs> eh, who are not familiar with what umpokoko is, what is it? Can you break it down for some of our viewers? And what is it that just makes it a favorite of yours? Uh, okay, so umpokoko, first of all, I think we refer to it as, as, um, as African salad. So it's basically maize meal um, with water. It's very similar to bab, you know, but it's more chunky. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. It's like harder, rougher. Rougher. So the texture is completely different. Um, bab is more soft. Um, that is umpokoko. I love um, umpokoko. Um, you know, I learned how to cook umpokoko from a very young age of 10 years. And I think because of the simplicity of the dish, it was the first dish I learned how to cook. And it happens to be, to be my mom's favorite. So my mom would have umpokoko for breakfast, for, for lunch, and for dinner. 
and I think that's why I'm so, so, you know, attached to it. Yeah, very much drawn to it. And I mean, not only do you focus on things like Umpogoko on your website, but you just have so many offerings and it seems as if you've got your foot in every kind of pot, literally. So tell us about your website, what we can, exp um, what we can look forward to experience when we do scroll down your page. So when I created Hash in My Kitchen, um, I really just wanted, you know, to create home-cooked meals, simple home-cooked meals that have like a five-star restaurant feel to it. So I focus a lot on presentation, a lot on presentation. So I would have literally a very simple dish, but it looks like something you'd find in a five-star restaurant because of the presentation. Um, I don't also focus on one cuisine. You know, I don't limit myself at all. So I play around with different dishes. Um, I'm very curious as well. Yeah. So whatever I like, I will, you know, recreate um, at home. And I explore a lot. So I restaurant hop a lot as well. So yeah. that helps me to... It, it draw, like that's where I draw my inspo from. Yeah, um, I also do the same thing. There is nothing better than having like a favorite dish at a certain restaurant and you're like, wait, I wanna, I can create this at home, man. Let me, <laughs> just, <laughs> let me just try. And that's exactly what you're doing. I mean, okay, there's so much I want to ask about the name. You've got a very powerful name of your entire page, your entire site, Hush in My Kitchen. That means my kitchen, my rules. As strong of a name, I hope that you as much of a strong woman as that name. I mean, how did you come up with it? So basically, um, I'm not a chef, and I didn't go to culinary school, yeah. and you often find that, you know, people would... People don't think that, they, that, that I can cook because I'm not a chef. I don't have the qualification. But when you step... Well, when I step into my kitchen, mm. you know, expect magic. Do you know what I mean? Expect magic. We can be a number of cooks in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, we all have different ways of cooking, but we all arrive... At, we, we, we could easily arrive at the same outcome. Mm. So for me, um, if you step into my kitchen, you better hash. <laughs> Allow me to do my thing. So when you step into my kitchen, my kitchen, my rules. Love it's that. As simple as that. As simple <laughs> as that. Girl, you spoke about presentation. My mom always used to say you eat with your eyes first and not with your tongue and not mm -hmm. with your taste. Do you style all your old own dishes and do you take pictures of your own creations? Because I know food styling and food photography is its own industry. I do, actually. Wow. Um, oh, wow. I started off, you know, with my own phone, but now I actually own a camera, mm -hmm. so I take my own pictures. And when I'm doing some um, brand collaborations, some content for brands, and then I would like, hire a food photographer to take professional pictures. Because obviously you want to produce quality work, quality content, because, you know, I need to sell myself. Yeah. But otherwise, in terms of styling as well, I style my own dishes. I draw a lot of inspo from um, Instagram pages, mm. from YouTube. So I would save all of that content um, on my phone. And when I have a meal that I'm cooking, I would literally scroll through my phone and say, OK, um, how can I style this? And, mm. you know, and sometimes your creativity just flows. It kind of comes pouring right out of you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sitting down with me for this conversation. Now that we know Ozandi behind the apron, it's now time for you to put that apron on, girl, and let's get kicking, cooking in the kitchen. You ready? Let's do this. Amen. Now go ahead and follow Zandi on her Instagram at hash underscore in underscore my underscore kitchen. But now, it is time to head over to the kitchen where she is going to show us how to make up delicious chicken nugget cups. Let's go.